to this time of prayer today on Wednesday the 24th of March as we think about the feast that is the Annunciation of our Lord to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Traditionally celebrated on the 25th of March, which is tomorrow, often called Lady Day. It is, of course, a quarter day. Traditionally, it was one of the days in the year when the farmers, the tenant farmers paid their rent, a day that is most important in the beginning of the salvation of the world. So we have this time of prayer and we will contemplate this event. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Amen. The psalm appointed for this feast is Psalm 40. We have come to do your will, O God. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips. And that, O Lord, you know. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the Gospel of St Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the Gospel of Christ. The Annunciation is one of those events which points to the human nature of Jesus. The Church has traditionally taught that Jesus is both God and human, and today we consider the implications that he was born of an earthly mother, conceived in a unique way, but conceived nevertheless. Leo the Great, who was the Bishop of Rome in the 5th century, wrote about the mystery of the dual nature of Christ in these words. He who is true God, was therefore born in the complete and perfect nature of a true human being, whole in his own nature and whole in ours. 
By our nature, we mean that the Creator had fashioned in us from the beginning and took to himself in order to perfect it. These words remind us of the humanity of Christ, of the divinity of Christ, but also to our own humanity and we being part of God's plan, as Mary was. In the Annunciation, Mary plays her role. It's the first step in the drama of God taking us to himself. The Annunciation speaks of a God who, like a mother stirred by her child's pain, scoops her up and holds her to God's ample, loving, nurturing arms, where pain will be eased, loneliness assuaged. We hear today of a young girl's role in the salvation of the world. And we ask of ourselves, God, what are you calling us to? We are reminded in this celebration that God's plan is everlasting from the beginning of time, through our time, throughout all generations. And we, in this generation, pray that God will call us to be part of his plan for our world. Amen. We now have a time of prayer that will end with the collect for the Feast of the Annunciation and the Lord's Prayer. That this and all our days may be full of your praise, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, we pray that you will instil in us a sense of listening for your calling in our lives. As we remember today the Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we ask that we may follow in Mary's example. The example in which she said yes to God's command. We pray also at this time for those people who have gone before us and heard the calling of God. That we may walk before you in paths of righteousness and peace, we pray to you, O Lord. That you will bless your people and lift them up forever, we pray to you, O Lord. That you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting, we pray to you, O Lord. The collect for this day, we beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts and that, as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to glory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God's blessing come down upon us this day and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>